If you think flooring your car destroys your engine, you might be right. But if you think gentle driving always protects it, you could be doing even worse damage. Slowly, silently, and permanently. Because here's the uncomfortable truth most drivers never hear. Some engines die early because they're driven too hard. Others die early because they're never driven hard enough. And by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly when flooring it is harmful when gentle driving is actually dangerous, and how professional mechanics drive their own cars to make engines last 300,000 plus miles. Stay until the end, because the habit you think is safe might be the one slowly killing your engine. Section one, why this question matters more than ever. 20 years ago, engines were simple. Port fuel injection, thick oils, loose tolerances, no turbochargers, minimal emission systems, you could baby an engine forever and get away with it. That is no longer true. Modern engines now have direct injection, turbochargers, ultra-tight tolerances, thin low viscosity oils, complex emission systems. These engines don't just respond to how often you drive, they respond to how you drive. And the wrong driving style can quietly clog piston rings, carbon load intake, valves, glaze cylinder walls, destroy catalytic converters, and shorten engine life without ever throwing a warning light. Section two, the two extremes that damage engines. Let's define the two driving styles. One flooring it, high RPM, heavy throttle, aggressive acceleration, frequent redline pulls, two gentle driving, low RPM, light throttle, short trips, never pushing the engine, most drivers assume one is obviously bad, the other is obviously good. That assumption is wrong because both can be harmful, just in completely different ways. Section three, when flooring it actually damages your engine. Let's be clear. Yes, flooring it can damage an engine, but only under specific conditions. Flooring it is harmful when the engine is cold, oil temperature hasn't stabilized, maintenance is neglected, oil quality is poor, or the engine is already worn. When cold oil is thick, clearances haven't expanded, lubrication isn't fully established. High RPM at this stage causes accelerated bearing wear, piston scuffing, camshaft damage, turbo shaft stress. This is why mechanics say cold engines hate throttle. Cold abuse kills engines fast. Section four, the myth of never rev your engine. Now let's address the most common belief. I never rev my engine. That's why it'll last forever. This belief has destroyed millions of modern engines. Here's why. Modern engines need load. Without occasional higher RPM and throttle, piston rings never fully seat under pressure. Carbon builds on valves and pistons. Oil never reaches full operating temperature. Moisture and fuel contamination stay trapped. This causes ring sticking, oil consumption, loss of compression, sluggish performance, early engine wear. Mechanics call this engine laziness, and it's one of the biggest silent killers of modern engines. Section five, what gentle driving does over time. If you always drive short distances and keep RPM below 2000, avoid highway speeds, avoid acceleration, your engine never fully heats the oil, burns off contaminants, clears carbon deposits. Over time, this leads to thick sludge and oil passages, carbon-packed piston rings, intake valve buildup, especially on direct injection engines, reduced oil flow, and declining efficiency. The engine doesn't fail dramatically. It just ages fast. And by the time symptoms appear, damage is already done. Section six, why mechanics clear it out. Ever notice how mechanics sometimes rev an engine after service, take a car on a hard test drive, accelerate aggressively once warmed up? They're not abusing it. They're maintaining it. That controlled load expands piston rings, increases combustion pressure, burns carbon deposits, restores oil flow, stabilizes engine temperature. This is why many mechanics say an engine that never gets worked dies young. Section seven, the real enemy. RPM without load. Here's something rarely explained properly. High RPM alone is not the enemy. High RPM with no load is worse. Example, revving a cold engine in neutral equals bad. Flooring it uphill once warm equals often beneficial. Engines are designed to handle load. They are not designed to be babied forever. The key variable isn't RPM. It's temperature plus load plus timing. Section eight, 
Why turbo engines change the rules. Turbocharged engines amplify everything. Higher cylinder pressure, more heat. Faster oil degradation. Gentle driving in turbo engines causes carbon buildup on turbine shafts, oil coking in turbo bearings, stuck wastegates, delayed spool response. This is why turbo engines that are only gently driven often fail sooner than ones driven properly but responsibly. Turbo engines need full oil temperature, occasional boost, proper cool down. No load equals no self-cleaning. Section 9. What engineers actually design for. Engineers don't design engines expecting constant redline abuse, OR, constant low RPM babing. They design for a variable load, occasional high demand, full operating temperature. In fact, many durability tests include repeated high load cycles, extended highway operations, sustained RPM. Why? Because engines must survive real world stress, not just gentle commuting. Section 10. The real question you should ask. So the real question isn't, is flooring it bad? Or is gentle driving good? The real question is, are you driving your engine the way it was designed to operate? In part two, we'll break down exactly when flooring it helps. When gentle driving hurts the golden RPM range mechanics use. How often to push your engine safely and the driving pattern that maximizes engine life. Because the truth is, the longest lasting engines aren't abused, but they're not babied either. Section 11, the safe aggression zone. What mechanics actually do. Here's something most drivers never hear. The best way to drive an engine isn't aggressive or gentle. It's controlled. Professional mechanics follow a pattern called safe aggression. That means never hard throttle on a cold engine. Never lug the engine at low RPM. Regularly apply load after full warm up. Once oil temperature is stable, mechanics will accelerate firmly, not violently. Let RPM climb into the mid to upper range. Use the engine's full operating band occasionally. Why? Because engines are self-cleaning machines, but only under load. Section 12, the golden RPM rule. This changes everything. Every engine has a sweet spot, not redline, not idle, not barely moving. For most modern gasoline engines, 2,800 to 4,500 RPM, once warm, is ideal. Turbos may benefit from brief pulls up to 5,000 RPM. Diesels, lower RPM, higher torque load. This RPM range, fully seats, piston rings, maximizes oil pressure, increases combustion temperature, burns carbon, stabilizes oil chemistry. Mechanics don't floor it randomly. They visit this range intentionally. Section 13, why lugging the engine is worse than revving it. One of the most destructive habits is lugging. That's when you press the throttle hard, while RPM is too low, in too high of a gear. Example, full throttle at 1,500 RPM in a high gear. This causes extreme cylinder pressure, detonation risk, bearing stress, crankshaft load. Ironically, this is common among gentle drivers. They think they're saving the engine, but they're forcing it to work harder with less oil flow. Mechanics will always downshift instead. Section 14, short trips, the silent engine killer. If your driving looks like this, five to 10 minute trips. Engine never fully warm, low RPM the entire time. Your engine is never healthy, no matter how gently you drive. Short trips cause fuel dilution and oil, moisture buildup, a sludge formation, stuck piston rings. This is why engines with low mileage but city-only driving often fail earlier than high-mileage highway cars. Gentle driving doesn't save an engine that never reaches temperature. Section 15. The Italian Tune-Up. Myth versus Reality. You've probably heard this term. Give it an Italian tune-up. Contrary to myth, this does not mean redlining constantly, abusing the engine, driving recklessly. It means fully warm the engine and apply sustained load use higher RPM, briefly clear deposits. This practice restores throttle response, reduces carbon buildup, improves oil flow, stabilizes compression. It's controlled maintenance, not abuse. Section 16, what happens if you never push your engine? Engines that are never worked hard develop. Glazed cylinder walls, weak ring, sealing oil consumption, lazy throttle response, carbon-packed valves. Over time, these engines lose power, burn oil, clog emission systems, fail early. And the owner says, 
but I drove it so gently. Exactly. Section 17. What happens if you always floor it? Now let's be fair. Engines that are always driven aggressively suffer from accelerated bearing, wear oil breakdown, heat stress, turbo fatigue, valve train wear, especially when all oil changes are delayed. Oil quality is poor. Warm up is ignored. Aggression without discipline kills engines just as fast. Section 18. The ideal driving pattern. Mechanic approved. Here's the pattern that consistently produces long engine life. Warm up gently. Light throttle. Keep RPM low until oil temperature rises. Check mark drive normally. Vary RPM. Avoid constant low speed cruising. Apply load once warm. Firm acceleration occasionally. Highway driving when possible. Avoid lugging. Downshift when needed. Keep RPM in the engine's torque band. Check mark cool down after stress, especially on turbo engines. Let oil circulate before shutdown. This pattern balances lubrication, temperature and cleaning, wear control. Section 19. Why highway miles are easy miles. Highway driving keeps oil hot and stable, burns off moisture, maintains steady pressure, prevents sludge. This is why taxes of fleet vehicles, long distance commuters, often reach 300,000 to 500,000 miles with fewer issues than lightly driven city cars. They're not driven gently, they're driven correctly. Section 20, what mechanics drive like, the confession. Ask a mechanic how they drive their own car and you'll hear this, I warm it up properly. I don't baby it and I don't beat on it either. They accelerate decisively downshift instead of lugging, take highway trips, change oil on time, and let engines breathe. They trust engineering, not myths. Section 21. So, which is worse? Here's the final answer. Flooring it randomly, cold, or constantly is bad. Gentle driving that never loads the engine is also bad. Controlled load, once warm, with good maintenance is best. Engines are not fragile glass. They are precision machines designed to work. And the worst thing you can do is never let them. Now let me ask you, do you usually baby your engine or do you push it once it's warm? Comment below, gentle, balanced, aggressive. And if you want to learn how mechanics secretly make engines last twice as long, hit like and subscribe because the next video covers the exact monthly habit most drivers never do. That prevents catastrophic engine wear.